Mr. Grunwald's 87 years old. Within 20 years, everybody that survived the Holocaust will have passed on, so they will not have the opportunity. However, our students, the 300 kids here, 287 actually, will be able to say, I heard firsthand what happened. It's really not about me, it's about all the children that were lost during the Holocaust. We lost uh, one and a half million children. Just imagine one and a half million children were killed during the Holocaust. A lot of people were injured, sick, and died. And I think it's important to get outside of the walls so our students know this is real knowledge. This is first-hand knowledge, and we're not just teaching something that doesn't apply to the rest of the world. The main purpose was so we could like kind of get into detail what happened in the Holocaust. It was a full day event on Friday, September 6th. The whole team of sixth grade went to Unsub and we got to see Mr. and Mrs. Grunwald. We watched a documentary that Mr. Grunwald was in and it's the story of how he stayed alive because he could do music. He was able to survive in four different concentration camps, how he was liberated, and then you know what he's done since. And then we got to have a question and answer time with him, just our students, and it was awesome because our students gave great questions and he gave great answers back. I sat there with my phone, I was like this, I videotaped it so my family could see it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Whenever you can have first hand accounts given to you, that's the best way to learn. Most of our students here didn't even know what a Holocaust was or where it happened. And at the end of the year, we will get into a Holocaust unit. So we'll be able to circle back and use this information.